Welcome to Uncomplicating Weight Loss and Life. I'm your host, Eva Rodriguez, proud Latina, single mom, certified life coach, and weight loss coach. I'm here to help high achieving boss women lose their weight for the last damn time and up level their lives. When it comes to your health, weight loss, and this thing called life, I'm not saying it'll always be easy, but it doesn't have to be complicated. If you find yourself listening to this podcast episode and your heart is broken, your heart has been shattered by someone you love, this is my love letter to you. As someone who's lived a lot, loved a lot, and lost a lot, I know what it's like to have to smile through the tears while living with a broken heart. For the longest time, I have dreaded days like Valentine's Day because everywhere you turn, there's balloons, flowers, and heart-shaped everythings. Vendors even set up on street corners to sell these things, so it's almost impossible to avoid, not to mention the Hallmark movies. (laughs) And if you're dealing with a breakup, if your heart is broken, days like this can feel almost like the universe is being cruel and mocking your pain. One of my clients is going through a pretty tough breakup. And she's been so devastated by it. And something she said to me during one of our sessions was, I don't know if I'll ever fall in love again. And I know that pain so well. I know what it's like to feel like your heart is literally breaking. Waking up to that uncomfortable sensation in your chest where all you want to do is curl up in the bed and cry. When Christian's father died nine years ago, I remember declaring that I would never love again. I definitely had my heart broken before, but this time was different. He was gone forever. And I loved that man, for better or worse. I thought he was my soulmate. I thought we would be together forever. But God had other plans. I didn't think I could live without him, but I did. As poetic as that sounds and as true as it sounds when we listen to those sad love songs, it's not true. You can and you will continue to live without this person in your life. Of course, it will take time to heal. How much time? It truly depends. It might take years of doing the work to heal your heart before you can even think about opening it back up again. And I know when you're deep in the moment, your mind can't even fathom that day in the future. Oh, how I know this. When you're heartbroken, it's easy to forget about everything else that matters, including your well-being. Sometimes you can't even eat because you're so emotionally dysregulated. Other times, all you want is a pint of ice cream because your body's craving sweetness. We crave sweetness when we lack intimacy. As someone who grew up watching over-the-top telenovelas, I've always been a hopeless romantic, and I'm slightly embarrassed to confess that I thought every single boyfriend that I ever had At one point in that relationship, I thought he was the one, until he wasn't. And it's so important to give yourself that perspective, even as you're healing your heart, because it's so easy for us to fall into the spiral of thinking and believing, I'm never going to love again, or I'll never fall in love again. It took me years to do the work. To finally be able to say, I'm open to loving again. 
I want to love again. I tried dating here and there, but nothing would stick. And it was because I wasn't ready. My heart still needed time to heal, to feel safe again. And I needed to be okay with that. I needed to be okay with being alone for as long as my heart and my nervous system needed to heal. Because the truth is, anytime you open your heart to love, you're also opening it up to possible pain. I've learned that you can't have one without the other. You can't be so afraid to get hurt that you close yourself or close off your heart to new experiences. You do have to go into it with the knowledge and with the awareness that life is 50-50. And there is a 50% chance this will work and a 50% chance that it won't. And there's a 50% chance that if it doesn't work, it's going to hurt and your heart will hurt and your heart might just break again. But what if it doesn't? It's a risk that you have to be prepared to take if you want love. But that's why it's so important to do the work and to focus on yourself for as long as it's necessary to heal. This is the time to really go within and love yourself, reparent yourself, do the inner child healing work, and the boundaries work. Healing after heartbreak is an inside job. You will have urges that feel uncontrollable at times. Urges to emotionally eat, urges to overeat, urges to just say fuck it and let yourself go, urges to call him or text him, urges to drive past his house to see if his car's parked in the driveway. And you'll need to navigate your urges to possibly re-injure your heart the same way you handle your urges to eat candy and ice cream all day. There's actually a strategy to all of this. But Lord knows, I wish I'd known about life coaching 10 years ago. That's why it's just so important to do the work. I wish someone would have told me, you might fall in love a lot of times. You might fall in love once, or you might fall in love seven times in your lifetime. You will love many people throughout your life. Your first love will unlikely be your last. And yes, girl, despite what Mariah Carey sang in 1994, you can live without him. And you will love again, if that's what you want. It took me a long time to heal. But it doesn't have to take you as long as it took me. So if you're going through a tough time, if your heart is broken, I'm here to help you on your healing journey. As a life health and weight loss coach, for the most part, my clients initially come to me for help losing weight. But we go so much deeper as we do the work to heal from the inside out. Whether you're dealing with your first heartbreak or your seventh, you'll love again. As long as you do the inner work to open up your heart again, this time for a healthy love. I'm here for you as long as it takes to get there. Just click the link in the episode description to book a call with me. That's all for today. Bye for now. Thanks so much for tuning into today's episode. To learn more about how to work with me, go to eva.fit and click on the work with me button. While you're there, be sure to check out my free weight loss resources so that you can get a jumpstart on your journey. I'll see you there.